So at the moment I've got the Prada on the hoist. Um, I'm going to drop it down in a minute and put the bushwhacker awning on it. We're just doing a trans service on the Prado at the moment because we've got a big trip coming up around 6,000 k's. We're doing a bit of a quarter of a lap in three weeks, so we'll, we'll document most of it for you guys to have a look at if you're interested in some of the stuff we're going to see. A lot of abandoned places, um, which is what we like to go to and have a look at. A bit of snorkeling, some beaches, and yeah, so we'll get this Prado off the hoist. Um, once the trans temps got up to 7, I'll just double check the, the fluid level and we'll start putting the bushwhacker awning on. Okay, just a quick thing I thought I'd show you. Initially I was going to make up some brackets for this bushwhacker awning, um, but we've run out a bit of time leading up to Christmas. Um, these are the original brackets that come with the bushwhacker awning. Um, they're actually quite well made, quite sturdy, um, but they're only for mounting above. Um, the awning so they're not um, above the roof rack uh, so the awning sits very high um, and we actually when we go into our couple we actually have a little bit of a clearance issue with this setup so I've gone with the cayenne brackets um, these things are beautifully made absolutely beautifully made um, they're quite a bit lighter I like the fact that there's three um, which makes it a lot easier it comes with a beautiful um, Bolt here, which you can specify for the rack so it's not just a rhino rack it's not just a, a roller rack you can actually specify what rack you're using it comes with the correct spacing then to suit the rack and then you get three options of mounting height wise so depending on your setup because some roof racks obviously it's a lot higher than others um, you can actually have it lower um, all the way up um, to where you want it um, where you want it to sit so you there's a lot more mounting options and adjustability um, which is something that i think is quite important um, there's nothing wrong with the factory brackets if you want to use those factory brackets that's fine um, but i would have preferred to see three in there for the price of the awning um, the quality of the awning i think there should just be a slightly better range of brackets initially i was going to make up something like this um, just to slide up and down um, and you can adjust it yourself but uh, for a bit over $250 I've got these I don't think that's bad considering that the time to make these is probably actually the best part of the day's work in it um, to do it properly so yeah we'll get this on shortly we've got the, the bushwhack awning out here I am actually going to set it up for the first time on camera so I'm not going to set it up and then have 15 goes at it and show you I'll, I'll try to show you guys what it's like the first time we put it up um and how hard it is to kind of get organized i've never set one up before so seen them at the shows and everything but never actually had one out so yeah hang in there and we'll we'll get it on all right so we've got the cohen brackets on now they just go on with four nylock nuts just little six mil bolts and nuts um, we've done the three, we've spaced them evenly, we just measured what the length of the roof rack was and we've got the two farthest ones at either end and just one central um, and we've just measured the height at the bottom of the door to where the roof rack starts and we can have it on the lowest setting by the looks and it should all fit in nice. So this is how the brackets have worked out. So they just fit perfectly across two rails. Um, and then the last one up the front there. So what I'm going to do now is I've left these tight but not super tight. Um, I'm just going to pull this out and just see where the actual rear bracket goes across the back. So I'll adjust it 
forward and backwards to suit and then I'll just have to see whether it clears this antenna mount which I have on the rear here um, this was all done before we had a bulba so worst comes to worst I might just have to make a small step down just just allowed to clear it um, for this trip so yeah we'll get this open I'll get it out we'll open it up and we'll see what it's like to set up for the first time be the first time we open it up we haven't actually had this open yet we're going to pull it out and just see what this rear arm lines up at the back of the car because that's going to be important as to getting it around and then putting the straps on to hold it in on in place so never opened one of these before zips are really nice nice weatherproof material so it's got some foam in here and then just obviously to protect it in transit strap we're going to put from here and we're going to put that to the bull bar at some point we just want to make sure that the To the roof rack i'll show you what i what i bought as well um, on the black friday sale they had a rhino rack um, it's like a little um it's it's more just a little thing to, to allow a strap to go on that actually suits the rhino rack that's all it is you could use an eyelet you could use whatever you want this was just something they had for a, i think it was like 30 dollars it goes from here and it's just the correct thing uh, to go to the rhino rack um, so i'll go get them we'll put them on yeah, we'll go from there. So these are the ratchet ties that it comes with. These are really, really nice. So you can hook it there. I'm just going to go over the spare mounts here on the pull bar. And you pull that tight. It's super simple. Um, section is this unit here which is which is made by rhino rack um, it just loops around it's you don't have to use it you can just use eyelet bolts you can use whatever you like that was just on special on the black friday sales for 30 dollars so i grabbed a set of them it comes with four so you can use it for other things um, it comes with their own um, captive nuts as well to go on the rails Just put that there with this across. There's just a little clip in here you put on to extend it. You put it on. And that's it. That is all set up. It's pretty simple. The door it does open. It's very tight. Oh no might just be touching so we might have to go up one more step but that's okay it's pretty simple now we'll just make sure the lights work with the... so this is what comes this is what comes with it for the lights which is why I put the accessory socket up the top so it's much easier to do all this stuff when it's on the bench so if you're going to do any of this sort of stuff, try to plan ahead. You should be able to get this straight in the back there. You can see there, got power, so it 
should be able to go into either of these two pins. And we've got white lights on. And then amber lights. So you can have white, you can have amber on each white and amber on each pole. It does kind of get in the way of the light a little bit, but I don't think it'll matter. And they are just simple as pushing down, tucking in, and that's it.